Charles Pellegrin joins me. He's at that MEDEF meeting. Charles, did the government manage today then to reassure the business community? Well, they definitely tried to pull uh, all the stops uh, here. Uh, for instance, Emmanuel Macron uh, gave a video address, uh, and that was the first time he uh, uh, spoke to that meeting since his uh, election in 2017. So there was a sense that uh, this was a year where he needed to step in. And uh, from the get-go, Elisabeth Borne, when she took to the stage uh, for uh, an interview in front of a crowd of hundreds of business leaders uh, here in the Hippodrome de, de Longchamp next, uh, next to Paris, well, she, her first lines and her first first answer was to say that uh, this government is a pro-business government and has been a pro-business government since uh, 2017 and will continue uh, to be so, uh, reaffirming uh, the Macron government's uh, uh, commitment to supply-side economics, meaning that the goal of the government is to liberate uh, the uh, uh, strength and forces of the private sector in order to, to achieve its objectives in terms of full employment or its objectives of a reindustrial uh, of, of, the French, uh, of the French economy. Uh, business leaders will have wanted to, to hear a bit more reassurances on some specifics here, uh, specifically uh, one type of employer payroll contribution uh, in French called the CVAE, uh, which uh, the government had promised to scrap entirely uh, next year, but that in, in the end it will, it will stagger that uh, cancellation over the next, uh, uh, until, 27, until 2027, until the end of uh, the mandate. That was seen as a bit uh, of, a, uh, of a bad surprise, especially for small and medium enterprises uh, here in France that are especially vulnerable to changes in, in fiscal policy uh, like this. So uh, definitely a lot of reassurance, reassuring words from the French government, uh, but the, the, the business community will want to see more deeds. And I mentioned tax um, at the top, Charles. Give us a sense as to why this issue of taxations in the spotlight right now. Absolutely. The tax increases uh, are being rumoured and this uh, ca cancellation of, of uh, the, the, the employer payroll contribution uh, is part of that con conversation. Uh, the reason that why, why there's rumours of tax increases, discussion of tax increases, is because there's more pressure now, uh, more than ever, for the French government to redress, to rebalance its public accounts, especially after the years of stimulus spending that we saw uh, during the COVID uh, pandemic and now, especially last year as well, uh, the, 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 the stimulus and the protections that were afforded uh, with the energy shock that we saw uh, with inflation and with the invasion of Ukraine uh, last year. The government spent a lot of money and uh, government debt has ballooned to over 3 trillion uh, euros. So uh, in a, there's, a, there's an urgent need to redress these, uh, these accounts and that obviously will go through uh, a reduction of government spending. The government said, uh, Elisabeth Bond spoke of a reduction of 3% in volumes of government spending, but um, there's also discussion of maybe ways to increase taxes. But uh, Elisabeth Borne reaffirmed that she won't, and this government won't, increase uh, taxes either for businesses or households. Now, how else uh, are they going to be able to rebalance the books uh, of the French government and the French state? Uh, that's what it will try to figure out as the parliament is an, is, attempts to pass its budget law for 2024. Charles Pellegrin at Medef. Thanks very much.